Oh no, come on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, I was having a very scary moment there. I tried sending a message to someone saying I was live, and then my phone just kind of stopped working, responding. So, hey. Just going to give everyone a few minutes to get on. Um, I'm not going to do any makeup today. I thought maybe I could do a mask. I could try the, well, not this one out, unless you want me to be quiet. I can understand that, but I thought I'd do these masks today and then go over some of the things I got. So actually, while we're waiting for everyone to come on, I will do that. Just thought maybe we'd just take a time and get chatting and just kind of enjoy everybody. Oops, thank you. Hello. So, how is everybody this Wednesday? Are we liking the Wednesday as a live? I think that sometimes, you know, you get halfway through the week and you get into a lull. So, if you look forward to this as much as I do, Wednesday is a uh, is you know, something, a, a, you know, a break from everything else. The house is really, really quiet because I think my son's home, but uh, Avalon went to grandma's tonight. So I got to take back Paige's boyfriend. Though that sounds really bad. Uh, he's... Um, Liz in Vancouver and has been down for about a month now. So I'm sure he's anxious to get home and see his family. Okay, look at these are dripping. I think I have enough for like six of them. Oh, they have hearts on them. They smell good. I always feel bad when I'm doing my uh, makeup and stuff and I can't see your comments all the time. So I thought, you know what, let's, I think I got an extra one. Is that for my third eye? How did they know? It's probably just an error, but still. Oh, I think I have to sneeze. I'm gonna just sneak, stick, sneak, sneak this one back in. It, look at that. Where my third eye is supposed to be here. There we go. Those wrinkles could use in my age spots. Hello. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Hi, Martin. Okay, so, um. I'm going to start, I got my top box for, I think, this month. I'm not sure. Like, I only signed up, like, a couple weeks ago. So, I don't know if they just were like, hey, you're signed up. We're going to send you one. But I got all excited because I was like, oh, it's something I didn't pay for. But then I realized, yeah, I did pay for it. I thought it was a mission. Now my hands are all wet and I can't. <laughs> this is why I... Always open things off camera. I'm so horrible at it, guys. Okay, come on. I have like little scissors somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh, I missed what she said. Figures. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, man. 
Okay, so um, it's really weird. The house is so, so quiet right now. And if you're wondering why I put it up here, I had an extra one and I usually do. Oh, there we go. My scissors are right here. I'm such a, I'm so weird sometimes. Okay, so. <sighs> okay. They don't really work. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So how is everybody feeling today? <laughs> I just want to get it open. Why didn't I do this before? So my daughter was just here, my older one, and uh, she had bought Chinese. So I just had some Chinese. I had a nap because I had a massage today and I am so sore, so sore. I feel so bad for the, uh, the lady that has to work on my body because I mean, I make her work. Oh, it's a two part mask. Or am I just, nope. What is going on here? Oh, it is a two-part mask. <laughs> Guys, there's some technical difficulties going on around here. Oh, man, that is cold and it is so nice. Yeah, <laughs> right? Uh, it's a two-part mask, which I like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay. I like the fit of this. Oh. Do I look beautiful yet? I feel like I just had plastic surgery. Okay. So. Whoa. Okay. So now that I've got that on. So I do have the lip one. I'll do the lip one when uh, I don't have to talk. Although this could get really interesting with me not talking. So I kind of want to show you guys what I got from, uh, yeah, they do. Um, I got this from Super Great. So right before Christmas, Super Great changed the way that they did things. And so I was like, well, I might as well cash in some of my coins. <sighs> Why did I think of doing that? Because I could get this at my local drugstore. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice getting it for free, but... The coins that I used for this, I could have put towards the co the uh, the brand new uh, Dalton Illuminizing TCE. But anyway, and Dalton has reached out and they said they were going to send me the TCE free to try. So I'm so excited for that. It's going to be in a couple of weeks when they have new brushes. So I might be able to get one of those confetti brushes that I've been begging for. Um, but yeah, so I got this and it's... Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Okay, so I'm going to give that a try in my next video. I'm so excited about that. Um, I also got this Kaja, which I showed in the last video. But guys, this was this is super cute. I was like, they had it in a trio, and I'm like, how does that work when you're trying to take them out? Some days I wonder about myself, but I was really excited to try this and then I just grabbed this and then I think tomorrow or later this week, I'm actually getting I Do Care um, something from I Do Care. I don't even know. Like I've stopped. Yeah, it took me. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'll just grab it. Whatever. I have enough co uh, coins or whatever. So um yeah, this is kind of cute. I kind of like this idea. And the mascara is actually really good. And then it has like a clear for a, uh, a brow gel. Or you can use it as a primer, which is really neat. Um, so my sister-in-law sent me $50 gift card for Sephora. So I got this. And I thought I'd go over it with you guys. Now, I did open it up because I wanted to check it out. Um, but I wanted to do a live with it because... I focus so so much on makeup that you kind of forget like you need to spoil your skin, especially after taking off the makeup and stuff because there's so much in makeup and 
and it really can put a wear and tear in your face. Um, I'll be 40 in a couple weeks and I thought I took really good care of my skin, but it wasn't until later. And then I started to notice that I've got really bad like um, sun damage because when I was a kid, I never wore sunscreen. So I always say to my, my kids now and I, you know, on my videos, you'll hear me say, wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen because it will really, really save you in the end. Um, and we all know the importance of making sure we wear sunscreen because it does save you your, yourself from sun cancer. Skin cancer, sun cancer, skin cancer. So I thought I'd go through some of this. So I'm not going to keep all of it because my um, resolution for the last two years has been to only keep as much as I need. Um, but this was a gift to me. So I'm going to try to get through some of a lot of it. Let's just face it. But I've gotten this quite a few times. So I'm excited to actually give it a try. It's Shishido. It is so cute. I love the packaging on this. Um, actually, you know what? Oh, I missed that. Oops, no! Oh, no, no, it's okay. You're not late, you're not late. Or seven years to the day. Do we know what that... We're not late. But this is cute. I was kind of hoping for, like, um something, but it's not. I don't know. Hello, Vanessa. I've been wondering where you have been lately. I have not seen you um, a whole lot online. So this is a more Pacific. I believe I got something from them uh, in the Ipsy. I think I think somebody else was saying that they didn't really need it, but they wanted it because it's so, you know, bougie. Um, if you guys don't know, Vanessa actually does, has her channel, and I know she does not a lot on reviewing and she's got a huge Instagram follow. Um, oh yes, yes, I thought so. <laughs> I actually share my birthday with um, my great grandfather, which is kind of cool. Um, but that's, I've gotten a few things from them and it's so cute. Um, I'm gonna have to look that up and see what it's about. But I find that when you go for something uh, more expensive you do not yeah I I doing that with my four-year-old and let me tell you I want to drink every single no but yes um you only need a little bit online school I I my heart breaks for the parents that have multiples and I just I can't imagine okay so I thought this is really cute I like the bottle I really like the bottle. I haven't opened it up. Oh, yeah, it's a little square. So I have tried a few things from Glow. Um, and I have to say, look at my nail polish actually matches the bottle. I could do it like a nice photo shoot with it. No. Um, this is cute. I love that it's glass, so it's definitely recyclable. Um, I've had tried a few things. Aw, hi, Sheba. Um, if you guys can go follow Sheba on Instagram, she has the best smile ever. Every time I see her, she's just smiling and she's just so happy. Um, this, I haven't tried, I'm not a big fan of watermelon. Why does everything have to be watermelon? Can we not have some blue raspberry or something, you know? Mind you, that might stain the skin. But I have tried a few of the things and it's actually really nice. Okay, so... Ooh, Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience, Soothing Treatment Lotion. Now, I will say that Doll Tan was talking about mushrooms and the power of mushrooms and not, not edibles, obviously. Although, I hear they're becoming completely legal in Canada. Isn't that crazy? Um, this is covering my nose. <laughs> oh, you, you're so welcome, Shiva. I love your, I love your photos when you're smiling. and You smile in, like, all of them, but... Uh, it's just so contagious. Um, which one? <laughs> I don't know. I might I might have to try some. I, I really want to try a lot of this. So, um, okay. So this, I can tell you right now, is absolutely amazing stuff. I Yeah. What about raspberry? Why can't we have some raspberry? I love raspberry. Not blue raspberry, but just raspberry. Strawberries. Um this stuff here is really nice. If you guys are looking for um, a toner that is 
hydrating. I'll let you know, um, Andrea. Um, and doesn't dry out your skin. This is this is the one that you need. Um, they also have one that's a milky one. I haven't tried it, but I want to. But man, do I love this. I've gone through like a few um, full bottles of this and I've strayed away from it to try different toners. And when I saw this in it, I was like, oh, I was hoping for it to be bigger, but this little bottle will last me still a, a while. And I am trying the Avanti um, Michler Water. <laughs> that's funny yeah so am i um with the uh with, i can't remember what's in it and it's really really nice and i use that to kind of clean my face sometimes and it's so nice or then when i'm done washing my face i'll actually go over it and uh this is lancome is this what you're um it's a tonique Com comfort obviously french because it is a french company maybe that's why i like it so much Thank you. That is the one from uh, Tribe that I got in my Tribe box. So this is Laneige Sleeping Care Sika Sleeping Mask. Now, I've had this many times, and I have not tried it. So, you know, I'm going to try to go through all the products in this. Um, but one thing I don't like is this. <laughs> like, give me such a nice thing, and then... But... We're going to try it out and we're going to see what it is. I'm actually kind of interested to try this one the most out of all of this, I think, so far. Because they were talking about the power of mushrooms. Okay, so let's see what else I got here. There's quite a few things. So there is Joe Malone Peony and Blush Cologne. Um, it could be my Wi-Fi. I'm having issues with my Wi-Fi. I actually do like pharmacy. I have had their stuff. Oh, that is strong. Whew. Okay. That one's probably going to have to just be set aside for right now. So good jeans. I actually had the whole um, set of um, Sunday Riley stuff and I ended up selling it because I just had so much stuff. I'm pretty sure Andrea can tell you I had my whole kitchen table filled with stuff at the beginning of the pandemic. That's good to know. Um and so I'm really wanting to try this. So there's a lot of things in here that I've gotten and that I've um, I've passed on um, be, just because I get like so overwhelmed. But I'm getting low on some skincare and I thought, you know what? Now this is something we've gotten quite a few times um, in different boxes and stuff. So it'll be interesting to give this an actual try. Uh, this is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair S Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex. Okay, absolutely. If you want to uh, send that to me. Um, so this is... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm <sighs> Such a big box. Um... Okay, good to know it is, it is good. But this is the Clarence Total Eye Lift. So I'm actually really, really excited to try this. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I had the Elizabeth Arden pack and I had the, the capsules, the serum capsules. Well, I took one out of each and then I gave the rest to my mother-in-law and she was so happy. I actually, uh, she gets a lot of my skincare because she helps me out so much. So, you know, if I get anything extra, she definitely gets it. Do you want me to put you on camera? No. You keep talking. <laughs> Come here. Come give me a kiss. Throw him in a snowbank for me. Okay. I like her. I like her too. Oh, you're not going to like her after she throws you in the snowbank. And you whine because you have a blister. I'm live, by the way. Huh? I'm live. Oh, you're live? I'm live. How much viewers? Not many, 11. Twitch.imqs. Enjoy the snowbank. Watch out for the poop. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. My my son and his girlfriend are here. So this is what I really wanted to try. This is just kind of interesting. It's hair oil. My daughter's hair is so thin and so dry. 
So I thought I'd give this uh, a try for her. So I'm really excited. It's super bougie and expensive. And then I also got <laughs> this old de Janeiro one to try. But they didn't send me my samples. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna take that off because it's starting to get dry. Sassy. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, I think I actually really needed that. I haven't been sleeping well, so I'm hoping that this will help me sleep well tonight. Um, and I got a massage, so I'm hoping that will help too because my back is and my shoulder. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's what I got. I think these are great sizes. None of them are really full size, but it's such a wide variety to try. So, and I, it's funny because I love Ipsy for that because it's a lot of sample sizes, so you don't get overwhelmed. And then when you find something that you like, you can go out and you can get it for yourself. Um, I hate getting full size stuff and, and I find that I just don't use it, right? So this is nice. Um, $59. And then right now they still have this, this as, uh, the gift or whatever. I haven't even opened this to see what it smells like. Oh, I could eat that. It smells good. Um, and then they didn't send me my samples. I'm gonna, I was gonna message them and then I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna, gonna worry about it. Okay, so... Mm. I got top box today. Like I said, I don't know if this was um, this month or next month. We're going to see. So let's open this up and see what I got. I will say Ipsy has shipped. I'm super excited about that. I don't know if my point redemption will be in it. I know they say it ships the next month, but sometimes they sneak it in. And I'm hoping that I get it this month because the Glam Light S'mores palette is in it. And I am just like, eee, I wanted that forever. Okay, so let's open this up as I knock things over and see what I got. So there's like four items in it. I thought there was five, but I guess there's four. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with this. Floss. I kind of opened it, yeah. Only because I was like, is this free? Because I told the girl, like, it's funny because when I go in to get my mail, like, they know me there really, really well. Um, and I'm like, I always joke around, like, because I like my free stuff. And then I was like, oh, is this something I didn't buy? And then by the time I got home, I realized I had bought it. And I stopped in at the bakery on the way home to get um, cheese curds and... Uh, Oh, did you? I'm so excited for it. Like, I, um, and the woman in there commented on my, my outfit, because I have the pants on, um, and, yeah, and I was talking to her, she, uh, she, so there's two bakeries, one in Gowanstown and one here, and she runs the one here, and she'd been closed since, like, since December and I was like why were you closed so long we missed you and we're glad you're back and um she got to have some time with her grandbaby she hasn't seen because of the pandemic she hasn't met and so we just had a good old chat and I told her where I got my outfit from and I told her if she gets the suit the same suit as me we are taking pictures and I think I've made a new friend <laughs> at the bakery today <laughs> So, our first item I got is Floss Sunbeam Highlighter. So, maybe I'll give that a try on uh, tomorrow's video. Floss is actually um, uh, a Canadian brand. I believe that they do order their stuff. I don't believe it's made here. In, yeah, it's not made here. So, um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how well they do. Um, it would be nice if some of the, if they're not just one of those companies that, orders and then like orders pre-made stuff this is top this is top box um ipsy has the uh, s'mores palette it's sold out um it's gone so so the other thing i got is this 
Measured Difference Matte Lipstick. So I don't know if anybody got um, December's box, if maybe this is December's leftover from December. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to uh, maybe save it. It's a taupe. I've never heard of Measured Difference, so I really don't have any use for it. Um, I have enough lipsticks. And after the whole Wayne Goss thing, I have, a, I have such trust issues now. <laughs> You're going to think this is the funniest thing, but the Wayne Goss tastes chemically over all of my lipsticks that I have. And I think I have been, how do I say? Um, I don't even know how to say. It is pretty. Uh, maybe I'll put that in a giveaway. It's called taupe. Um, but uh, even like this did not have a chemical scent. And this is from China, Korea area. But I think the Jeffree Star ones have me feeling luxury without the luxury price. Um, the Wayne Goss was just so... Oh. It's sitting on my, my Jeffree Star mirror here. And I'm like, I should use it again just to see... Yeah, so I'm wondering if they just sent me just this random box of stuff. I don't know. Um, the next item I see here, though, is the Clarins Purifying Gentle Foaming Cleanser with Alpine Herbs and Meadow Sweet Extract. Combination to oily skin. So I probably will give this a try. I think I'm running low on um, cleansers, although I think I have three on the go. One from Jen that she gave me, which is the Skin FX. Um, and then I can't remember the other two, but yeah. Um, I do know that I'm using the, um, the Tatcha rice water. Okay. And then the last one is the Bad Gal Bang Benefit. Bigger Batter Volumizing Mascara. 36 hour full blast volumizing mascara creates massive volume without weighing down lashes. It's custom slim packed brush is streamlined to eat, to reach root to tip, corner to corner, upper and lower lashes for big volume with 360 reach. Whew. Okay, so I'm actually kind of excited to try this. Oops. Oh, you're not gonna. I don't think I've tried this one before, although I am going to go through my mascaras and uh, um, see if there's any in there that uh, there will be some that will need to go in the, the garbage. I've had more than three months. Um, and I like without constant use, I find that mascara can last a little bit longer, but I do need to go through and get rid of some of them. Okay, so top box is $15 a month it's canadian i believe though that they did open up to the st the americans um so um you can get it in the states now um this month wasn't total loss but i think i think they could have done better but that's has it I, like i haven't found really my holy grail Mascara, I will say that this one do does pretty good so far and the doll tan one I will say I do like the lash remedy because I think it's actually um, It's helped with these lashes because when I go for my laser treatment, they um, they get really close to under here So sometimes my lashes get burnt and I ha I don't have that trail right here anymore because they've been burnt off and let me tell you um, the the treatments are bad enough, like they're painful, but the pain doesn't last very long, thankfully. But the smelling of burning hair is a whole different story. And let me tell you, it does not comfort you. It does not make you feel better about the process. It makes, it just, yeah, it does not make me feel very good at all. And so... I... Actually, the um, the eight cosmetics with the dry bar. I love that mascara. <laughs> with the like, where it looked like it was like the little thing. I don't have it anymore. I, I know I've tossed it, but yeah, I used to love it. 
And I'm going to say, oh, um, I was looking up. answer it right now because uh it'll inter interrupt my life <laughs> hopefully he's doing okay <laughs> it's probably gonna be like why did you ship avalon off but i did tell him i was sleeping so i'm gonna use this this is the holy mess oh my gosh guys this does not smell like watermelon and it's like um infused with dragon fruit extract and i swear if you gave me a straw i would open this up and just try to drink it it is smells so good like cotton candy but not quite and it feels so good on the skin um so yeah i kind of wanted to do something where we just sat down and talked makeup and and stuff and this year what you guys are looking forward to this year um I don't even know. Like, I know Jeffree Star is having his skincare coming out. Um, but I don't know. Like, do you think there's going to be anything revolutionary that comes out this year? I feel like, like, even though, like, we're living more advanced now than ever, <laughs> what possibly... It is, I think it's good. Um, I definitely not scented water. It's got um, something in it that just kind of. <laughs> I think I, you said it just fine. I understood what you meant. I thought it was like start, but star works for me too. Um, I find that it's like. A... Okay, you're supposed to get February's box. Okay. I find that it just adds enough uh, moisture without being oily. Um, I like it on, you can, you can use this on the makeup as well. And I don't think it helps set it, but it just like gives your face a bit of a breather, which is nice. Um, now am I gonna say like it's done wonders for my skin? I don't know, I don't use it enough. Maybe I'll try to start using it once a day and see if I notice any difference. But I will also say that the scent calms me. And you know, stress can be a lot on your skin. So, um, but the scent is, it needs to be made into a candle. Charmed Aroma, where are you? Sorry guys, I'm really thirsty since I woke up. I think my one goal this year is to buy some more Nomad products. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so I kind of wish I didn't spray that on my face right now because it's kind of sticky, but that that's... I haven't gotten any missions on anything for such a long time. Um, I've messaged Chick Advisor and uh, because they have not chose me for anything in months and months and months and months. Um... Yeah, the only subscription I have is Ipsy right now and Tribe and now Top Box. Wait a second, that's three. But um, I think I'm going to be canceling Top Box again. Like, it's just, it's fillers right now. And it's sad because there's so many things that they could put in it. Yeah, I know. Um, I did get messaged for Buzz Agent. I didn't get in there. I used to be, I used to get a lot from Buzz Agent and Chick Advisor. Like I have been with Chick Advisor since 2013. And if you look, I've gotten missions and campaigns and uh, I mean like almost every campaign, every mission. And I realized that now there's more people. And I said to her like, I've messaged them. I'm like, is my account in good standing? Like, what is going on here? Because this is just crazy. I haven't gotten anything. And I know you're going to say, oh, every, you know, like you have to answer the questions right. But at some point, it doesn't even matter about that. I'm not being picked. Is it because, because and I knew, I know as soon as I spoke out um, against Chick Advisor, um, I know they got upset with me because I pointed out that they were a Canadian brand 
and that they should they should be focusing on us. The Americans already have a lot of opportunities and a lot of campaigns and you know a lot of things, and it's really. It's really sad to see that Chick Advisor is focusing more on the Americans than the Canadians, considering they are a Canadian company. And this was about their toys. Yeah, I, I will. I'll uh, definitely give it another couple months before I cancel. But um, yeah. And yeah, so yeah, so since then, nothing. And I even went down to the Cinco Set thing. Um, and that was really nice. And uh, yeah, nothing really. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Buzz Agent had an overhaul. Um, absolutely craziness. Now, Influencers has, has really swept me off my feet. I was really, really hoping for the mattress because I have a bad back. And I did not get selected. So I'm going to up my my um, visibility on Influencer and um, see if that helps me get. There's So the reason why some products are not allowed in Canada right now is because if you have SPF, you have to have an expiry date on it. Um, and there's other legal... Uh, um, there's other legal ramifications for some of the the uh, products we are also far stricter than the u.s is on their um what you're allowed to put in products um and how they're labeled uh we have um and right now it's really expensive to ship to canada I'm just going to become more active on Influencer. I noticed that I, I post a lot of pictures on Influencers and I get a lot of likes and a lot of uh, people commenting. So I'm going to keep doing that. Like with the makeup and stuff, I'll post a full, you know, a full face of my makeup and um, tag the different products. And I get a lot of people like, um, I think one of my photos got like 200 likes. So, I mean, that's pretty good, I think. Um, considering I'm nearly 40 and I've got wrinkles and I've got a giant birthmark on my face, I think that's really good. I think it's nice to see somebody um, do that stuff. I'm going to look into it. I'm just... Oh, I am so bad. I have Super Great now on my phone and I just... I'm not on it as much as I should be. I'm usually playing a game. I'm really bad for that. Um... But I'm trying to do more reviews and I need to focus more on that. Um, especially now that I'm off and like Lucas is home during the morning. So yeah, actually I have gotten quite a few things from Influencer for not being on. So that's why I kind of wasn't on. Um, there's a... I'm also on Reddit, so I get to see all the different campaigns come up because Reddit has, um, it's actually influencer is very user friendly. The only thing I do not like about influencer is that you cannot add products. Unlike super great. I found it really easy to add products on super great. And by the way, you can't add anything from Wayne Goss from Bootylish. So with with exchange, that's probably about the same. Um, you also have to like one thing I find about the United States is that the United States has all these great deals, but you find that um, the cost of living there is very different than here in Canada. We have minimum wage all through all of our province and um, territories. So our minimum wage here in Ontario is actually fourteen dollars. So anything made here, everybody is getting paid. A a livable wage with, with when I mean livable, I mean that's the bottom line of livable. Um, it's not a great wage here in Ontario, but it is not seven dollars, it is not two dollars. Our um, our waitresses, I believe it's it used to be just a little under like a dollar two under, so that they would be able to have that tips the tips. And now, from what I read in these states, that some places they get paid two dollars an hour for waitressing and they rely solely on tips and then other people come in and say you're just a waitress go get a better job and won't leave a tip um i realize that not everybody is like that but that's the biggest difference um 
that I can think of. That's why things are a little bit more. So like when we go to Shoppers Drug Mart, it is more expensive than Walmart. Why is it more expensive? Because I fully believe that the people working at, at Shoppers are happier because they get a better wage than what they do over at Walmart. Um, I will continue to support Shoppers Drug Mart because they are a Canadian brand. And yes, they are two to 10 to 15 bucks. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's really sad to say. And then on top of that, we don't have to worry about our health care, which is really nice. Our health care is paid for by our taxes. And um, I was talking to my massage. Um, so I have, I have benefits through my fiance's work. So I get massage, I get uh, orthotics, um, uh, we get glasses and all that extra stuff that isn't covered by our, um, our healthcare plan. So here in Ontario, it's called OHIP, Ontario Health Insurance Plan. Um, so all I have to do is show my card, I get treated. Now, if I was to end up in an emergency where I was rushed to the hospital, That makes me really sad. I don't know if you guys read that, where they're saying that one week with COVID is $300,000 in the States. I can't imagine choosing between the life of somebody you love and care for or your house. I mean, what do you do in that circumstance? I know that there is a lot of people that can claim bankruptcy in the states and they do because of medical therefore it goes on to other people's bills technically so at that point why not make it a universal i know that they consider it socialism here it isn't the government doesn't tell us what to do all it does is it pays the workers but it also makes sure that doctors are doing what they're supposed to be doing they're not turning away patients they're making sure people are healthy and um and then it also negotiates pharmaceutical pricing. Um, yeah, I can't imagine. And, and um, student loans are absolutely crazy because apparently with student loans, it's the interest that gets you. It's not the actual loan. Now here you can go for OSAP, which is a student, it's um, Ontario student loan program. And, um, it's interest free up to so many years. So like you have like five or 10 years to pay it back as far as I know, but it's completely interest free so that you can go to school. It's not like the best program ever, but it is, it's getting there. It's, 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 it's better than some programs out there. I would like to see our taxes pay for uh, college myself. Um, I think that if we were to invest in our future, it would only pay us back. I mean, I would love to send my kids to, to college or, you know, my neighbor's kids or, you know, the guy down the block, his kids should go to school. Even if they just immigrated here, I have no issue with that because it only, it only benefits us. When you help somebody else out, it benefits everybody. That's... Yeah, our our our, um, our housing is is in a it's in a tight spot. Like uh, my friend shared a thing saying that uh, the lot next across the street from her was a hundred and forty something thousand dollars ten ten years ago, and it just sold for four hundred thousand dollars lately. And it's like crazy, absolutely crazy. Like I just I can't imagine it. Um, my fiance bought this house 10 years ago and we fixed it up quite a bit. As you can see behind me, it's not completely fixed up. Um, the, um, he did a lot of this work. He, he, uh, did the grout and whatnot. Um, but yeah, my heart breaks for Americans. I go on Reddit and I see a lot of them. And it's not the extremists. <laughs> and I use that word very lightly here because I do realize that, Every country has extremists. I'm not talking about it being religion, but I'm just meaning like they're just this way and this way or they're this way and they're this way and they're just so dead set in their ways that 
Yes. Actually, down in Toronto, there's a woman that put up her house at a fair market value and she got like close to a million dollars for it. And it was like, it doubled because there was a bidding war. And it's in a neighborhood that the last house that was up for sale in this neighborhood was 35 years ago. And I think she was asking 400,000 and it went for over a million. And Toronto's really expensive. Um, uh, Lucas's sister was paying like three times our rent. Well, not, a, yeah, for, cause he pays, yeah. We pay about $600, I think, for our mortgage. So yeah, double, almost double for just, literally it fit in this side, this room here. Like that was her apartment. So yeah, but we live in a small town. We live very rural life. I like it here. I love it here. I love my rural life. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I do watch a lot of American reality shows. I watch, I'm watching um, like uh, police. I was watching police women of Broward County and yeah. Just, it's just so crazy the amount of stuff that they have to deal with. And I couldn't imagine. Like, here, our cops aren't so bad. And I say that very lightly because <laughs> there are some bad ones out there. Um, but I had two police officers at my house um, not too long ago. Uh, my son's friend got a little intoxicated and he um, punched out our window. And we had called to make sure he was okay because he had left here and to um, n to be told not to come back to our house if he was gonna do that when he was drinking, we didn't want him around. Um, and they were both in the house, no no issues. So they were wearing their masks, but uh, yeah, they weren't like, who's all here and you know, where's everybody? And they were very relaxed, very nice to talk to. And yeah, I've been pulled over a few times and you know, you always worry about them. And you do see the cops touching their guns when they come up to the vehicle. And then I've seen them touch the back of my vehicle and one level two bedroom. And you know, um, Palmerston right now, yes, yep, absolutely. Absolutely, it's happening here too. So we're not so different there. Um, my daughter is renting and I think they were saying it was twelve to fourteen hundred dollars and it's a two bedroom and I mean it's tiny, super tiny. And you're not gonna get into the housing at this point. They're talking about like the next wave not being able to afford a house. So I mean and I mean there's not a whole lot here in Palmerston. There is the factory here in town and it does pay decent wage. It doesn't pay a great wage for a factory. Um, but there's new housing going up everywhere. Like, um, just a couple blocks down here, it used to be just one house and it used to be a huge lot. So it was obviously, um, one of the first lots that happened here in Palmerston. Like even this house is one of the, it was built in 1893 ish. Um, but they put up a fourplex and I'm like, yeah, no, you could not pay me to live in that. And it must have gone for, I think each plex was between two to $300,000 and you don't even own the whole house. Two, two roommates and a two bedroom? I'm guessing it's, is it a couple? Or does somebody sleep on the couch? <laughs> Lucas says it, it, this is a three bedroom and when he first bought the house he actually lived in the smallest room even though it was his house he took the smallest room and uh um he charged I think two to three hundred dollars for rent which was basically nothing um and uh yeah so it paid he was able to pay off his okay yep yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely, Andrea. But you are going to get back on your feet and you are going to do better. You're going to have more and you're going to be happier. Andrea sent me something beforehand. So she's she's had a, I want to say a mean moment because that feels like it should have happened to me. Like I always get these weird things that happen to me and... Uh, She's in a bit of pain right now. And I know um, Martine, I think she's still here. 
Martine is in Quebec, and Quebec is having massive issues with um, COVID right now. It's so bad there. Can't imagine. Yes, we're, we're saying some healing prayers for you, Andrea. Um, it's it's going to be better this year. Uh, I truly believe that. I think... Um, And it is. Yeah, I can. I guess um, Andrea had a, had a fight with the dentist and uh, she, she had to get a filling, a filling replaced and it didn't work out to her. So she may have to get the tooth pulled, but she's got a, a big bruise on her cheek. And I said, I said to her, um, I, I taped back, uh, just seeing that makes my teeth. And then I forgot hurt because I was just like, oh, yeah. I guess the numbing didn't work and they were like, did they just pull too hard? Like, I don't even know how you get a bruise like that. Like, that's just crazy. I go in on Friday for my flu shot because on top of getting my booster, I'm getting my flu shot. And my little girl is going to get her flu shot too. And I'm going to go get my ankle looked at because it's been weird. Uh, I remember I just hit it lightly off of like my bedpost. And I don't know what happened exactly. I thought I just bruised it. But now there's like a hard, like boniness to it. And now Natalie, you're in for, or, um, in Quebec too. Yes. Alexandra, um, Alexandria, is that, uh, Al 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 Alexavier. Is that right? I'm so sorry. You would think the French in me, I would know that name because it sounds very French to me. Um, I have a friend named Carolyn who's actually in Florida and she goes to New Zealand and um, she comes back and she's been in Florida a bit. And the memes that she shares, <laughs> she's vaccinated, she understands and she says it's just like a craziness. How are you holding up there, Natalie? Like I must be like just pure craziness in... So... Like, I live in a small town that's maybe, oh, excuse me. I do not like needles, and I just had a filling put in, too, and uh... <laughs> I don't get why people are traveling <laughs> right now. It just, it's so, like, mind-blowing to me. Like, I'm, like, please don't think I'm thinking bad of them. It's just, like... I'm just so overwhelmed. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, keep that picture and remind yourself not to pick a fight with the dentist, okay? You like the dentist. You're nice to the dentist. You and the dent dentist should become one. If not, you need a new dentist. I have a, I have a really great dentist. I really like my dentist uh, right now. His name is Dr. Hong, and I'm just going all over the place. And the guy that does the laser, his name is Dr. Hong. So I have two Dr. Hongs in my life. It is hilarious. Um, yeah, um, actually, my um, the, the girl that was going to do a massage, she was uh, going to go on, I think, a cruise? No, the, to the Bahamas, and she decided not to. Um, and then another friend was going to go on a cruise, and they've decided not to. Um, I just, I can't imagine going somewhere and then getting sick and then being in their health care. Like, our health care, like, we have issues with our health care. We're, we're not going to lie. Canadians will tell you right, right how it is. Um, it is sad. We are in a sad situation. Um so I'm doing all that I can to stay out of the, <laughs> out of the, ah, uh, you know, you know what you need to do is you need to find a dentist that understands that and that can work with you because you don't be like me. Please don't be like me. I don't visit a dentist regularly and it's just, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> My birthday is coming up, um, as, as I was saying earlier. I swear, and I'm, like, just talk, thinking about it, it's making that, that nerve in my face. It, like, when it starts to go off, it feels like I've got pressure right here and those, these three teeth hurt. And it happens a lot. Um, right now it's calm, but I can feel those teeth starting to hurt. 
and I was like, oh, just, ugh. Oh. Um, but I told Lucas for my birthday, all I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in, um, maybe get a nice steak dinner, take out. I'm not eating out. Even if we can, I'm not eating out. I don't trust people. Um, uh, and we're going to stay in and we're, maybe I'll have like a, okay. Um, I, I'll get to that in just one second. I'll show you what I have on and, uh, you can probably kind of gather from that. Um, but I maybe have a cup, a come and go with a drink or two. I'm not going to get drunk. I have way past that whole getting drunk thing and the next day with hangover. I did that at Christmas. I didn't even get drunk. I just drank some red wine and I got so, ugh, not even fun. And um, maybe play some Dead by Daylight. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that of that game, but it's um, it's a horror based game. <laughs> and somebody's a killer, and you got four survivors, and you go around and you fix generators, and you try to get out, and the killer's trying to get you and hook you, and it's just so much fun because I'm a huge, huge horror fan freak. And hopefully, I'm hoping that my small theater here in town is getting Scream Five, even though it's just Scream. Do you? Oh my gosh. Okay, you need to, I think you have me on Instagram. Do they? Oh, guys, that's awesome. I love it. My daughter plays it. My daughter plays it with me. And my little one, she loves watching it. I shouldn't say that, but she loves watching it. But uh, yeah, you guys have to find me on, because I have it on Steam and then I have it on the PlayStation. Okay, so um, this is a medium. And you can see I'm not uh, exactly thin. Um, and it works out really well. And it's a, it's a lazy day today. I'm not uh, wearing anything more than I should today because having a massage when you are like really, really stiff. Whew, let me tell you, it is something else. Absolutely something else. My back is just so sore. I'm just, after this, I'm going to go lay down in bed and I'll have a shower in the morning. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, I, I had a couple of drinks. Lucas was getting uh, like really drunk. I'm like, we can't get really drunk. We got the baby in the morning and now our, she's four, but she's still a baby. But yeah. Um, thank you. Yes. I, I think they run a little bit big. Now I've got medium pants on and I'm about, oh gosh, about 50 pounds overweight and they fit really good. So I'm afraid when I lose the weight, if I ever lose it, uh, it, they won't fit, but they're drawstring, and I'm still going to wear them. I will, I will like, find somebody to sew them. They are so warm. They're so comfortable. And I swear, the lady at, uh, I think we've played that one. Um, there's a, another one that your, that your husband might like. It's called Devour. That one scares me. I literally scream when she comes up to kill me. And then we play Phasmophobia. That one I really like when you ghost hunt. I love ghost hunting. I think for our honeymoon, Lucas and I are going to go ghost, ghost hunting. <laughs> now, it just depends on how much room you want in your sweaters. Like, I, I personally could go with um, a, a small, I think, in the sweater. And I probably could have gone with a small in the pants. But I really like the roominess in it. And I thought, and I, you know, it's so funny because I keep telling people, I don't care if I look like weird or, or whatever, I'm wearing this because it is so comfy. And then when I went in to the bakery, she's like, I like your pants. I'm like, wait, wait. And then I unzip my coat and she goes, is it like a onesie? I said, no, but look at the sweater. Isn't that really neat? And she starts laughing and she goes, I need that. <laughs> And I was like, just so you know, it's kind of expensive. She goes, I don't care. It's nice. It looks nice. It looks warm. I'm like, oh, it is warm. Trust me, it is so warm. Oh, it is perfect for Ontario weather. I should have had this on actually yesterday when it was like that minus 50 something. <laughs> but it is warm. It is quality made. I will say that like he has really nailed the quality on these these sweaters. And all of his sweaters, I absolutely love. I put them on. I feel comfortable. I feel so me. And I love just feeling so relaxed and so nice. 
I don't have a big ass. I have a big belly. Like, that's where all mine is. I don't know why, but I'm just like, I need to... Uh, Somebody's watching my videos on Super Great. I've gotten like four notifications. That's awesome. Um, right now, Doll Ten's having a. Um... <laughs> you know, it's a small town thing. I think. I honestly like. I. I went out today and I talked to the girl at the the variety store, and I was petting the dog in there and. I went over to the bakery and I sat there for half an hour just listening to this woman talk about her grandchild. And I'm like, I'm built for um, thank, thank you, Vanessa. Um, I was built for a small town. Um, my kids used to hate going shopping with me because I'd stop and talk to people. I really like talking to people and I ask questions and you know, and, where are you from? How are you doing? Do you like Canada? Because we do have a lot of immigrants here. And, you know, what's your favorite part about being here? What is, you know, um, what do you, you know, what do you think of us? And, you know, do you miss back home? And I know we have, um, what, what Canadians don't talk a lot about, but is what we do have here in Canada is what they call a, a, a school tourism. So a lot of kids come here for our college and our university and they are charged a very different price than what our Canadian born people are charged and they still send their kids here because we have a great schooling program um but I I tell them that they're they're 20 years old and they're here on a different continent from their parents and it's imaginably hard I can't imagine it and then they have to deal with racism and they have to deal with all this nasty stuff and, you know, I'm just decided one day I'm not going to be like that. I am not going to give these kids a hard time because I couldn't imagine my mother living on a different continent than me. And I'm going to be some a, a comfort, comfort. And if I have to be like a parent to these kids, I will be. And, you know, I did that at TG right before I left. I would, uh, you know, I'd say, say to the kids, like, you know, don't make me call your mom because I will. And they laugh at me and I tell them to stay out of trouble and... Um, it wouldn't be so much for you. Um, I do know like, um, like people coming overseas, it, it is a, a lot more like you're talking like $5,000, you know, a, a year more. Like I'm not a hundred percent sure on the whole thing, but I do know that there are two different pricings and there may be more built into, um, uh, like this, but I have heard that there is a very much a tourism, um, uh, education for us that it is and the more the more the reason that I do realize it's happening is because I used to work at the McDonald's here and they the kid these kids didn't live in Listwell they lived down in Kitchener and they were going to school and they were they would come up here to get work and the same as the factories these kids would go to school and then on you know they would come and work yeah <laughs> Yeah, it might be very different because you are just in the States, but I do know that um, the kids from India and stuff, they do pay a, a little bit more to a lot more. And they love it here. They just love it here. And um, one one guy got really close to, uh, his name was Akash, and I called him Cash. And I would joke around and be like, oh, I love cash, you know, the money. And um, he was Hindu, and he so he didn't drink. And, uh, well, don't let me, what I'm saying, don't, don't let it stop you because there is some really great things about coming to Canada. And you know what? Coming to Canada isn't a bad thing. You might even like it here and move here. And then you and I can become friends. Yes. Um, so anyway, he likes watching hockey and he would have a beer with it, with hockey. And I would joke around with him being can't do that you can't do that I think you're becoming a Canadian you know and he would just laugh at me and like they don't eat any meat um and I just look at him randomly and be like oh I like my bacon too much I couldn't do it and he just laugh at me and you know 
that always made me feel better is just giving somebody a good chuckle. And I do that to a few people. Every once in a while, I'll just reach out to them and I'll make them laugh. And, you know, you got you to gotta be somebody's sprite, sprite spot. Bright spot. Can I ask where this parent, parent came from? Like, I have heard that, um, like, in other smaller countries, everything, it, like, they don't pay for anything. And it's really interesting. <laughs> right? There's just so... But bacon's my it. I couldn't do... I, I could live without chicken. I could probably live without ground beef. But bacon, no ma'am. <laughs> And sometimes I, I put I put syrup on it and I love it with syrup now. <laughs> you know when you get your pancakes and your bacon, your eggs, and you just, you know, you mash up the whole plate and just shovel it in and <laughs> uh, uh, I love my poutine, which gravy is technically a byproduct of, uh, of 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 an animal, so I don't know if that counts or not. I believe they can eat fish. But uh, yeah, it's it's very interesting. I was learning a lot about him, uh, uh, about his culture, and he was teaching me. And I said, you know, you hear this propaganda. Oh, I can only imagine. Our maple syrup is so good. <laughs> I remember when uh, we were in the Olympics, and uh, his pe. Oh, okay. Yes, I could understand that. Um, actually, uh, Paige's boyfriend is. Um, his parents are Korean believe and uh they don't celebrate christmas so he wanted you know we kind of joked around with him about him coming here for a white Christ, uh, a white person christmas and uh you've never had poutine you have to but make sure you get cheese curds make sure you get cheese curds not shredded cheese there is a difference i will tell you that much right now and if you've never had cheese curds Oh, Aww. you are awesome for doing that. And yeah, I mean, maybe it was like, I don't know, like, that, that's something I feel like, did the school explain to them properly? Or did they both assume that they, you know, they knew what was going on? I don't know. I will say McDonald's actually has a pretty good um version of a poutine i will give them that the gravy is delicious and they do use uh cheese curds um oh vanessa i i never like gravy and i now like gravy on certain products like i still don't like gravy on my mashed potatoes i'll put salad dressing on my 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 mashed potatoes before i put gravy on it not a big fan of gravy on my meats i don't know why you are absolutely missing out um, if you're in a bigger city, they actually have like, um, Alliston has a poutine place and it is so great. Like you can get your like bacon on it and you can get like pulled pork. I haven't eaten everything from there, but I have eaten this from there once in a while. Um, I will suggest if you are, if you've got, um, uh, how do I want to say this? If you got a chance, you can make your own poutine. It's, it really isn't all that hard. But um, if you can get like uh, fresh cut fries or make your own <laughs> here, right? There's actually nobody home but me <laughs> and Sass. <laughs> Where's Sass? Oh, you want to say hi? Yes. Yeah. Um. And then I know um, Clubhouse has a really good poutine gravy. It it is really really good. And all you do is you know you uh, have a pot of water and hi sweetheart. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do because uh, nobody else is here but me. Um, yeah, so then you you make your fresh cut fries. And uh, did you just burp in my ear? You funny girl. Thank you. She she is a very, very, very um, spoiled dog, let me tell you. She is the funniest thing ever. 
Um, but yeah, use fresh cut fries, and if you can keep the skin on, that's even better. Um, and then um, use the Clubhouse poutine gravy. You can probably find that on Amazon, and then get your cheese curds that are fresh, and you will have the most delicious meal. I will tell you this, if you can have a nice beer or something with it, even better. Um, I have, I've had one beer in like the last four or five years because I find that I'm a little allergic to it, but so good. And if you can add some nice um, great, or, uh, bacon to it, but do that one second because you really got to have the, um, the flavor of all the gravy and the... There you go. Actually, get New York fries. Make you and actually they have. Ah, wait a second. I think New York fries has a poutine that's pretty good, and they use cheese curds too. That's it. Now you're gonna hear some sounds. The cat's laying on Sasha's bed, <laughs> and every time Sasha goes near him, he, he meows at her. Yes, definitely. And then if you can get bacon to it, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know they, they say that it, it is such a Canadian food that, and it is, I mean, when you're out in the snow and it is cold and you have a poutine, it's a whole different kind of warmth, let me tell you. Um, but do not go for a shoddy poutine. I've done that a few times where, you know, you go up and it's, covered in gravy and there's cheese shredded cheese on it. it is just not the same and it's like the bagged of frozen fries no it is not the same if you can get fresh cut fries you can get good gravy and your um cheese curds you are set just saying <laughs> it's one food that i am actually kind of particular about that and, and steak <laughs> steak is one of my favorite 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 foods and um yeah, absolutely. And you want them to be not greasy, but you want just that tinge of of, of uh, grease. But yeah. Um, <laughs> and then like, you can really go places with fries and, 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 and gravy and whatever else. Actually, you know what I want to try is um, a tater tot. Yes, actually, she, she's not so much afraid but she knows her boundaries with them now. Um, she likes to go up and sniff them and they don't like that. So we have two cats. One is upstairs. Um, oh, Vanessa, you gotta, hon, you gotta. And when you do, let me know, tag me in a photo and let me know how you like it. It's gonna change your whole concept on cheese and fries. I know it sounds weird, but. And actually, um, Lucas and I just eat plain cheese curds. That's our treat. We love cheese curds. And it's so weird because cheese curds were actually the ends of cheeses, and there still are. And they used to be sold for dirt cheap for families that couldn't afford the brick cheese, and now they're more expensive than the cheese. <laughs> but, yeah, um, and... You know what, though? There's so many things you just get busy doing and, and in life, and then you're like, well, I've never had that before, and, you know, you just don't... Sometimes you don't feel like trying something new, and for me, for the longest time, it was a gravy that held me back. And then I've been to a few places where I was like, I had the gravy, and I will never go back there because the gravy was just horrible. And I'm not saying that because I can make a great gravy. I cannot make a great gravy gravy unless it's a packaged gravy nope <laughs> actually we're heading on to an hour and a half and I'm thinking we should probably call it a night I have really enjoyed tonight with no makeup and just focusing on you guys and food and just being kind of crazy so oops um but I will be back next Wednesday, and I think maybe I'll do a bit of a giveaway because I do have these two items here that maybe I can do a little giveaway with. And, um, and yes, I got the links. I'll take a look at them. I'm just going to head up to bed. Um, so I got these three. 
lipsticks that I took out of the pig lipstick. And then I got these two. So maybe I'll put up a contest to win one, one or the other. Um, oh, you got it. You guys are just amazing, amazing, amazing people. I cannot stress that enough. I also want to say just a quick word. Um, as you guys probably heard that Bob Saget passed away. And as I'm reading some of the tributes that come in, I really feel like I want to be that person to a lot of people, you know, it sends out the love. So I think that is my ultimate goal for this year is just to try to share the love and share the joy that is life. Um, so I just want to say, you know, a quick, you know, rest in peace to him. He was um, America's TV dad, but he was also a dad to us Canadians who didn't have a dad. Um, so I'm so sorry to hear about his passing. Um, it has really hit me hard too. So anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.